In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we have a new lesson for second secondary grade, first semester, English subject. Today's lesson is Unit 6 for Meaning and Function in Mega Go 3 book. This lesson is prepared and presented by Muhammad Al-Athimi. In this lesson, you can identify the usages of simple present and identify the usages of present progressive. Also, you will use conditional sentences with present and future forms. Warm up. What are the differences between simple present and present progressive? When do we use each tense? Here are two examples. This sentence is in, pres in simple present tense and the other sentence is in the present progressive. So, I read every day. This is simple present. I am reading now. This is present progressive. So, can you guess when do we use each of them? Here, the time expression here used is every day and the time expression here used is now. So, this is the timeline and this line in the center, it represents now. So, this line in the center represents now in the timeline. Now, if you see this timeline and the X before this line in the center, this timeline represents what? It represents simple past. Excellent. And what about this? Future. Perfect. What about this? Something happening regularly. It represents simple present. And what about this? It represents present progressive. We use simple present for one repeated actions. Example, I play tennis. She doesn't play tennis. Does he play tennis? The train leaves every morning at 8 p.m. So these are about repeated actions. Also, we use it for facts or generalizations like the sun rises from the east. Birds don't like milk. Do birds like milk? Also we use simple present for permanent situations like Mr. Chen lives in China. This is a permanent situation. You can use it with permanent situations. Verb to be. Before we discuss the present progressive, we should revise verb to be. We have am, is, are. What are the pronouns that can be used before am, I only? What about is? He, she, it. Perfect. What about are? We, you, they. Fantastic. Now, we are going to talk about present progressive. Present progressive can be used with something happening now. Example, you are learning English now. Am um, is are verb with ing or verb to be with verb plus ing. This is present progressive, the form of present progressive. You are not swimming at the moment. Are you sleeping? Also, we can use present progressive for temporary situation like I am studying at this weekend for the exam. This week we are holding Indian week. These are temporary situations. 
Time expressions for the present we can use currently as in we are currently studying for examinations at present at present there are measures in place to tackle climate change these days most people recycle these days now air travel is more affordable now than it was in the past now these are two sentences one sentence for the simple present and the other sentence is for present progressive he says it ta I take the bus every day this is simple present and you can say also I am waiting at the bus stop he means now he's waiting at the bus stop now fill the following blanks using the correct form of the verbs water I want you to use boil at 100 celsius or 212 fahrenheit so what can you say is boiling boiled boils or boil without adding anything what's the correct answer water boils excellent now the water the same word boil please turn it off it means that something now so what can we say the water is boiling excellent okay. the scientists not understand the cause of the problem so we want to use the negative form the scientists don't understand the causes of the problem number four in your country in winter we want you to use it snow what can we say does it snow in your country in winter why we use does here because there is question mark because of the this question mark we used does the moon around earth you want to use go what can you say the moon goes around earth number six what you think of my idea what can you write here what do you think of my idea currently the number of immigrants in our country increase what can we say with currently is increasing is increasing number eight most people I want you to use realize how important it is to conserve energy these days most people realize so we use it the same without adding anything number nine Dubai is part of the UAE but it not have as many oil reserves as Abu Dhabi so it what it doesn't have and number 10 Ahmed has a part-time job on Saturdays but he not work today he what he isn't working today he isn't working today conditional sentences with present and future forms you can use conditional sentences with F to talk about causes and results present facts use this simple present tense in both clauses you can use the simple present in F clause and the other clause which we call it the result clause if you cook an egg in the microwave it explodes so we have two clauses this is the first clause we call it if clause 
and this is the result close the verbs here are cook and explode or explodes both of them are simple present so you can use the simple present tense in both closes if close and result close another example if you put water in the freezer it becomes ice both of them are in the simple present future facts use simple present in the if close and the future with be going to or will in the result close so with future what can you use either be going to be can be am or is or are or will so if close we use what simple present use simple present with if close and we use the future with what with the result close future with the result close example if you don't take this is present simple present if you don't take measures now the ocean will soon be completely depleted of fish another example if a mad doesn't go again simple present to college if a mad doesn't go to college he is going to be very sorry this is future the result close we use the future with the result close may might use may might in the result close to suggest something is possible but not certain if you think that something is possible but you are not certain you can use may and might in the result close so if Nura doesn't do this is pr simple present if Nura doesn't do the homework she may fail the class if Imad doesn't go to college he might not get a good job I'd rather use I'd rather which means I would rather to talk about preferences example would you rather go to the mall now or later I'd rather go now so we used I'd rather go now now complete the sentences about the facts use the simple present or will in the second clause so the first clause should be simple present but now with the second clause either use simple present or will let's go if you heat if the subject is you we don't add anything to the verb so we say if you heat the same if you heat water to 100 degrees Celsius it boil or will boil or it boils what can you say here it boils number two if they climb and we should add either s or leave it as it is if they climb up to 4,000 meters they need oxygen so either say they will need or they need what's the answer the first blank we can say if they climb and the second blank they need number three if you not cross it's bad the snake not bite you what can you say here if you don't cross if you don't cross it's bad the snake 
will not bite you the snake will not bite you number four if we get what can you add here we add nothing we just use get if we get this HD television we see the game better we see or we will see we will see the game better if you mix flour and water what can we write here if you mix the same if you mix flour and water you end up with batter you what use it the same end up with batter number six if he not obey what can you say here if he doesn't obey the speed limit he get a ticket he what he will get a ticket this is the end of our today's lesson today we identified the usages of simple present we said we can use simple present with repeated actions, facts or generalizations, and permanent situations. Also, we identified the usages of present progressive. We said present progressive can be used with actions happening now, temporary situations, and used conditional sentences with present and future forms we said we can use it with present facts future facts and may and might these are our, ref our references thank you for listening and see you later wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh